Thank you for speaking with me today. Snowfall is one of my favorite shows. So I'm excited about speaking with you. I love you on P Valley. So I'm very excited to uh, speak with you today. Um, so just get into it. Um, I watched a recent interview of you. Oh. I'm listening. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I watched a recent interview with you uh recently where you mentioned that uh Damson and Isaiah, you know, they help your characters to stay on snowfall after she got shot. And it's just so refreshing to hear, especially as a black woman, because we're always, you know, speaking up for the black man publicly and privately. Um, so it's just refreshing to hear that. And it just shows the unity on the set of Snowfall. So when you found that out, how did that make you feel? Honestly, it just made me, like you said, we are, I have five brothers and a great relationship with my father. So I advocate for the black man all the time and it felt good to feel protected, you know, and to be able to feel respected on a snowfall set in a production, just in this world. So I was very happy. One thing that Isaiah was, he was very vocal about making sure that, hey, no, get Wanda clean. I want her back. Um, I, I appreciate working with Gail. It's been a pleasure. It's been a journey. And he's very respectful on set. With us having to have that on set chemistry and the dynamic of our characters, he's just always made sure it's a safe space. And we talk to we talk through things. And then, of course, we definitely have an intimacy coordinator on set. But he's always been an ideal Black man to work with. So mm -hmm. to have someone rooting for you and advocating for you because they could switch in and out. You know, they could have killed Wanda off. She could have died of a of an overdose. And he had a different love interest at one point in time. So it was just a blessing to know that you don't owe me nothing. I don't owe you anything, but yet you still stick up for me. You still stuck your neck out for me. You still spoke on my behalf. And it's it's rare. It's yeah. rare. And I think that, you know, we need more of it. I definitely agree with this. Definitely rare, especially in this business. Um, and also, um, I just want to know, you know, being that you did play somebody that's on drugs, do you have any family members that's a drug addict or a functioning drug addict? And if you do, do you understand them a little bit more because of the role you played on Snowfall? I do. I actually have family members that have passed away due to drugs, lived this since I was born, have lived on drugs. Mm -hmm. And done it my entire life that I've been around and they died still an addict but mm -hmm. then I do have another family member who one of my dad's brothers my uncle Tris he was on drugs mm -hmm. for a long time mm -hmm. he got off drugs mm -hmm. and then he got cancer and still passed uh, so I've seen both sides of it of, of addicts I've had several family members who of course have been fell victim to the crack cocaine and just the drug addiction but it was nice to finally see someone uh -huh. because he's the only family member. My uncle is the, my uncle Trez is the only family member that I've seen actually overcome addiction. Uh -huh. Now my parents have seen people, of course, prior to, I've never known anyone who has become an addict that was not on drugs before. Right. I didn't get to see, by the time I was born, it was already in the thick of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and did you understand um your uncle's the maybe what he went through because he did get clean and then he just ended up having cancer but did it make you understand like you know him a little bit better once I played Wanda it did I, I can say I was very grateful for Wanda giving me that insight mm -hmm. of how easily it is to fall victim to drugs how we me you the person watching this we're no different it, it brought back the humanity and gave a better understanding, more in-depth look at how this happens. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Um, and then, of course, we got to talk about John Singleton. What did you learn from him before he passed? R.I.P. John. Yes. Just to tell your stories, to create and do it authentically, that we have to advocate for ourselves. And then we also have to reach back. We have to reach back and give people opportunities, whether they are qualified or not, because you can learn, mm -hmm. You, but, but it's that will and that heart and that desire to want to change and to want to do more. And that's how you leave. That's the legacy I want to leave, that I've helped people either fulfill their purpose or learn their purpose and just 
made an impact on people's lives. And that's what he did. Yes, I definitely agree with that. And being Snowfall, you know, this is our final season, but they had a good, good, good run. So I want to know what was your favorite scene throughout the Snowfall whole series, even if you wasn't in that scene? What was your favorite, most memorable scene from Snowfall? Okay, I'm going to give you two. Okay. So my favorite scene throughout the entire series is the dancing on dancing. So that's when Franklin is in the oh, room. Yes. He's like, body, body, when he, <laughs> he's taking the drugs. That is my favorite scene throughout the entire series because just from an artist standpoint, I just felt he it was award winning. Mm-hmm. It will always be an Emmy award winning scene in my eyes. Um, now my favorite scene that I was in Mm-hmm. It's my favorite episode out of the entire season. Ooh, oh, oh, well, it's two because you got you got Leon and Wanda in Africa now. That that episode just I'm, it, I'm yeah, <laughs> it filled me up from like the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I left I left Ghana full. So that episode and then the episode with Melody and Wanda, like that entire day of just seeing them together, even though you know they were both on crack right but it was so funny it was was so so funny funny. we got to see the highs and the lows we just got to see two women whose worlds technically wouldn't collide be in this place together be at the bottom together but making the most of it i'm so sorry girl i don't know what yes these glue on these lashes child oh yeah (laughs) do it that'll do it get you some water it's burning the mess out of my eyes out of nowhere. Close them, like do it close for like three seconds and then open them. Okay. It feels a little better. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Sorry. No, you good. And last question. Um, I know you mentioned, you know, you own P Valley and you didn't have to audition for P Valley. So do you feel like Snowfall gave you, you know, what type of opportunities have Snowfall gave you? And do you think that impacted your role from Snowfall impacted you not having to audition for P-Valley. I'm 100% certain that um, what Snowfall did was make me more marketable mm-hmm. because it it showed a range and an arc of my acting level, which you don't typically see unless a character has done about six projects because you may do some projects and you kind of play the same character. Right. But it gave me the opportunity to one, be in a period piece, to um, play a, a area, a region that I'm not from. Mm-hmm. Three, play different types of characters from the girl next door to the, to the love interest, to an addict, to someone overcoming addiction, mm-hmm. to someone in, a, in another continent, and then someone who is trying to get on their feet, looking for a new job. It also gave me comedy. So it gave me so much in Wanda Bell that it brought so many eyes on me in different ways for different projects. And I believe that that solidified my future in the industry, but also my future in people's hearts. Right. Just as a person, they were more interested in Gail because they loved Wanda. Mm -hmm. So I'm 100% certain that opened up a lot of doors and solidified things because I had auditioned for P-Valley like back in the day for the pilot and the network has said no. And when it came around this time, it was a straight offer. And I'm just certain that, you know, to be on FX anyway is something, it says something about you. So it showed that, okay, now I'm also working across from actors who are carrying their own show. Mm -hmm. So it it just solidified that I could hold my own as an artist. And I just think that Snowfall really helped people fall in love with Wanda Bell, which in turn helped them fall in love with me but allowed to show people, okay, this girl has range. So maybe let me see her in this role to see, you know, I, I I know it'll challenge her and I know she could do something great with it. I definitely agree. Um, Cause Wanda, she did give us that comedy relief and she was so funny. And I'm like, let me look into her. She kind of funny. So <laughs> make me want to go to your page and look you up there when I saw you was on P-Valley. I'm like, oh, okay, yes, yeah, sis. Okay, I see you. Cause that's one of my other favorite shows. Like, 
definitely so i'm like okay i love to see it and then my friend is on there miracle i'm really close to her and she yeah. was like oh yeah i love gail that's my girl right there i'm like yeah i see y'all stop out i like a girl <laughs> yeah and it, it's so crazy because everybody i think you know in the beginning i was looked at as leon's girlfriend but once wanda got on crack people were like oh my goodness she was able to go there but then to bring me back uh-huh. that really blew people's minds like she was able to play that and now come up out of it and and play this and then when it had went viral when they started tweeting when Wanda was actually on crack and really an addict yeah. when they would put the side-by-side pictures of me of Wanda during her addiction and then Gail Bean during like just regular everyday life yeah it was a big transformation <laughs> yeah a big transformation. I was looking at the picture when you got the wig, the teeth, and it's just a mess. I'm like, she glam is team so- is good. <laughs> glam and wardrobe is good. They bring it, and it just really helps me drop in. And then, like, we do have phenomenal writers. And what I love, someone just asked about us shooting in Ghana. Did we really shoot there? I really love that Snowfall shoots on location. Oh. A lot of times, like, yes, we have sets and we go to, to the stages, but. FX allows us to go on location a lot, which oh. is really great. They provide us with the security to make sure we're safe, but they also provide us with that nostalgia to really drop us into that environment. Gotcha. Yes. Well, I appreciate you for speaking with me. I'm sorry for my watery eyes. <laughs> thank you. But thank you so much. And I wish you much success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.